Welcome to Raikou Radio, where the Rai stands for Italia, the Ku stands for Miku. Hi. Here, we let our tangents go wild, we talk about game and lore, and we just kind of go on and on and on. Hey, Miku. And on and on and on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about today? Well, it has been a l- heck of a long minute. I mean, kind of missed some stuff, but you know what? Right. Things got hectic, things got busy, it was hard to keep up with one another. Life happened, good things and bad and chaotic and woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. Should we just take like a f- like five minutes and just do like a quick life update? Uh, Basically, um, I went to two weddings this year, one of them being my own sibling, my brother. Uh, like, yeah, woo, weddings! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, that, that's some happy vibes right there. Only Hun- getting married. Hundred percent. That's so exciting. Yeah. God, I'm still kind of reeling from it now that I think about it. Like, so happy, so proud. My brother's such a dork. I love him. He really, really is. Hundred uh, percent. I love my brother. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we've kind of had to take a back seat because things have happened. Like I said, both good and bad. Yeah. Mainly good. Woo! <coughs> and anyways, uh, yeah. <laughs> and we're back for a limited time. No, we're not a limited time. Um, we're back. <laughs> we are. <Slightly> back. <laughs> we are. I think we're going to try to get back into a cadence of, you know, making these more often. Getting out these, like, intro videos a little bit more close to the, the live stream date. We would have maybe looked at it last weekend, however, I was not in my state. So, that that was not going to be a thing. Um, that, that end, that was, uh, yeah, that was my brother's, uh, no wait. Was that my brother's wedding? I think that was my brother's yeah, wedding. I don't yeah. remember now. Yeah, last weekend was, because I was sitting with, uh, you know who, and we were, all the pictures you were sending, I was like, hey, look at this dork. <laughs> and, yes. And yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Many, many yeah. a story was told of our growing up with Little Dork. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, so that's why he was asking all those questions. He was asking you questions? Yeah. About my heritage and whatnot. Oh, no. That was a whole different thing. Uh, we'll get into oh. that later. But. Okay. Yeah, that's for... going to be off, off this. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. yeah 100%. Out. I'm scared. Scared. <laughs> for my life update, things have been extremely hectic for me since about May. Between yeah. some family stuff, some relationship stuff, some personal stuff, some SEA stuff, some work stuff. And now things are finally starting to like even out and I can, you know, breathe. So <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. So <laughs> there we are. But God damn, was that a roller coaster? Oh my goodness, that is putting it very lightly. We won't get I into the specifics you, yeah. there. I do have to record another video. I might do it today. I might do it tomorrow. Uh, but that's for a different playlist we have on the channel. Uh, and that'll be that video. But shall we get into the meal of all of this? Yep. To the potatoes. Potatoes. Meat and potatoes? Oh, yeah! yeah to the potatoes! To the potatoes! <laughs> I would like to find in, uh, you know, the, the, the tater top form. Thank you very much. Tater top Surprise form? Would be fine. Yeah! Okay. Uh, I'll take curly fries. Okay, that'll work. Love right. it. So anyways, <laughs> version 5.1, and yes, we're starting with 5.1 because that is the most current. We'd go back to eventually maybe 5.0, but... I'm pretty sure a lot of people know what's already going on in the new nation of Natland! Yes! That was perfect timing. I just switched over to the banner as we said Natland, so love that. <laughs> I love that so much. For those of you yes. who don't know, Miku can't actually see my screen as I'm doing this. <laughs> Dang it! Uh, uh, we're trying a new thing meow. where we're... Meow! <laughs> we're gonna try a new thing where we try to, like, force ourselves <laughs> to... <laughs> Force ourselves to censor ourselves with meows because I find that a little bit more funny when we do that. And oh, I already so meowed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Mission failed. Ah, ah, 
Oh no, he went five minutes in, yes. Oh no. <laughs> Why? I know, I know. It's a new thing. We're starting it. I did correct myself. I did correct yeah. myself. I said I meowed it up. So. Oh, God, we're already failing. This is great. There we are. <laughs> but we fail forward here. Let's go. Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, Netland, we're finally in the nation of Pyro! Yes, and for those of you who haven't had a chance to get into the game since the update, it is absolutely gorgeous. They put in so many different island-based cultures in here. Oh my goodness. Yep, we got, um, like, uh, you know, Mexican, South American, we mm -hmm. got, like, uh, I would definitely say Australian, according to a friend of mine, because they live in Australia and a lot of things tied back to Australia. And I'm like, sweet, we can add that in there. Uh, Native American as well. Mm -hmm. and it's really pretty. And the music, oh, it'd just be jam and like, oh, oh yeah. Lay cow. Like, I don't remember any songs outside of freaking like boss music that have lyrics mm -hmm. or words. Yes. I will put one tiny asterisk on Native American. I think it's just Native in general. Tribal is the way that I've been explaining it. Uh, because <laughs> for me, it connects a lot to... I almost see a little bit of like South African tribes. Mm -hmm. But, but they yes. do have some like uh, <clears throat> Northern Native American 100%. tribal it's definitely stuff in there. And also, um, they are, there is... Um, Africa or African uh, ties in as well. Um, yes. In the um, okay, so this is gonna involve story stuff. So it's gonna spoilers. Tie in a bit. <clears throat> so during the resurrection section of the um of the thing, you remember when um yeah. uh our, when our, our favorite. Sing. Our, 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 never, our, our new lovely adoptable shorty. Yes. Kachina. Yes. Goddamn, do we love her. She's adorable. She's sweet. She needs some, some self-confidence in some areas. And you know, she's just a lovable sweetheart. 100%. The buns needs the love. I love her so much. I've secretly adopted her already as my second child. Uh -oh, it's not so, Kachina. it's not so secret. I, I love it. <laughs> But regardless, um, when this was so coming out and I listened to the music video and watched like the live uh, performance of it, mm -hmm. somebody had mentioned that the that the language they use in the um, resurrection song mm -hmm. is Swahili. Oh, that is so cool. I'm not aware yeah. of that. Yeah, so I was like, oh, dude, that's awesome. This is why you sometimes read the comments because mm -hmm. sometimes they're like, oh, yeah, this is so-and-so language. I'm like, okay, that's cool. That is amazing. I love that mm -hmm. detail. And like I said, the, the music in this in this area is just, mm, oh, just I love it. Especially the battle music that they introduced with that song of the resurrection. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my god, yes, this slaps. This Agreed. is a jam that Agreed. I constantly listen to sometimes when I need to pump myself up for work. Oh, I can agree. The music here, it is so. <clears throat> eclectic the beats yes. on there are so amazing it makes yes. me want to start dancing it is and that's like across the board that's not even just the battle music like that's mm -hmm. just the i'm going through the world the exploration music that pops up at times i'm like okay let's go that and i think we'll have to do eventually like of listen in on the battle music as well as the resurrection music mm -hmm. uh, and talk about it because the lyrics are very very interesting okay because it's just like um like this is a nation that doesn't fear death as normal yeah. people as other nations would because of the um the resurrection. resurrection yes yes the, because of the ceremony and the resurrection and the uh the trials that they go through mm -hmm. Which makes a lot of sense because even in like um, Aztec, they're not afraid to die. Exactly, because, because they, they know that as... they know that their god would resurrect them, or uh, they would come back even even so as hummingbirds. I think that was Aztec. I might have to double check on that. But either which way, they didn't really fear death. Mm -hmm. But still, a lot of the culture is just like, oh yes, and it's gorgeous yeah. and it's beautiful and just 
like seriously guys like if you have yet to explore natlin i highly recommend it. Mm-hmm. It, it we can't explain how beautiful this place is and yes. we're still only at 5.0 right now as i'm speaking of this before this 5.1 releases and holy cow i love this place it is I, amazing it's like the same hype I got for like Inazuma when that was first coming out because one Japan and secondly like uh it's pretty it's purple it's my jam and then it's like Natalie comes along and I'm like oh my god this is cool <laughs> it is very cool of all the nations that have been released like right away this one has been my favorite to immediately jump into yes like Fontaine was gorgeous in its own right like yes. the the super serene fields, the ocean, the underwater, amazing. Sumeru with all the vegetation, all the luminescence, the caves, was great. This has a soul in it. This has spirit. This is alive. And I love well, that. Well, going back to Sumeru, <coughs> how did you like the desert? <laughs> you love the desert far more than me. You <laughs> dived in like f- freaking Indiana Jones. I'm sorry. It's a <laughs> I grew up on it. My mom was fascinated by it, and I saw this, and I'm like, "We're gonna go." <laughs> go. I know. I know. I get it a hundred percent. But yeah, I thought that I would be that way a little bit more with Fontaine because you know how much I love French culture and how I always exactly. have. Uh, mm-hmm. But the fact that this is just like there's just so much life yes. and thought put into it, I'm just like, yes. yes. It gives me so, so much happy. It really, really does. Also, the fact that certain spaces and certain NPCs have their own songs. I love that. Yes. Oh, and of course, like, so far, uh, they are... Going back to Natlin, uh, because we're going to talk about that again. Yeah. Um, there are tribes. So, yes. so far, we only have three of them. We know of the other three. Yes, so, there are six it's... tribes total. I did have a theory on that. And I don't know if it's a confirmed theory. I think that they all connect to one of the other uh, elements. I think you're right on that one because it, it does seem like that because you have the Echo, the children of Echoes, which is, which is Dio, Dio. Uh, the children the of Spring, which is Hydra or Hydro, mm-hmm. um, sci- Canopy of the Science is Dendro. Yeah. So I think it's going to tie to Electro, Animo, and Cryo. Yeah. I get the feeling that Night Kingdom will be Cryo. I think... Either Cryo or Electro, but I'm leaning towards Cryo. I'm trying to remember because it's like... I... I think that... I think the person that they mentioned during that um, super awesome fight... Mm -hmm. Is from the... Night Clan, and I think, well, I'm gonna have to mention this in this trailer when, once we get there. Um, I think that's gonna be maybe either Electro. Do you mean or... the the girl with the super light hair and the purple skirt? No, 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 she's Cryo. She's confirmed Cryo. Okay, I was gonna um, say, because I'm looking at a Cryo vision on her hip. Yeah, no, 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 no. The, the, um, oh god. I'm trying Is... to remember where it was. I think it was mentioned in the trailer. And you get to see the dude. Okay, the, I like, in normal fashion, I have not yet seen the trailer, so you are teaching me. Uh, <laughs> I know you're gonna yell at me. <laughs> I always do, and it never like freaking gets done. Oh, uh, oops, it never no, gets no, no, no. old. There but I there he is. Okay, there he is. Um, I take so it I'm getting a be... picture. Uh, so yeah, the girl that you see, the pink-haired one. Yep. Uh, there should be another picture that goes with it. Can you send that to me so I can take a look? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta get to it again. You're fine. Take your time. I am so yeah! excited for this character, and I really hope he becomes playable. If he has a vision, most likely will. Oh, and it's Electro. Mm. He's a tall Electro character, dude. I don't believe you. They haven't yeah. had a tall male Electro yet. I, yeah, I know. Is this I gonna know, be a first? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so that's ah, that thank dude. You. So that was the one in the trailer that I was like, who are you in 5.0? Okay. I can see why you like him. 
So yeah. Um so yeah, in the one po- in the five point oh trailer, he was seen <coughs> <next> the <to> Capitano. <coughs> oh, he might be the one who's helping. Yes. That's what we're thinking it is. So, I, I can't remember his name, but I'm, like, so freaking out because I'm like, if he is a tall male character, I'm going to get a first tall. Sorry, Miku! Now. Miku! <laughs> you can't do this to me when I'm hyped, man! I'm keeping a note of all the ones I have to go back and fix. That's gonna be easier. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, look, look, he has it on his back. He has it on his feeling back! <laughs> okay. I like the hood. So, we're gonna do this. And, we're gonna do this. And the, funny, and the funny thing, people are like, what is this, Riku from Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> you know, I could see Riku, I could see, like, there's a little bit of, like... Noctis? Noctis is one. <clears throat> um... Um, I'm gonna see how this looks before I fully bring it up. Oh shoot, I forgot he's got two different color eyes. He's got like a teal one and then his other one's purple. Nice. I have to do a little bit of adjustment before I can make it shown on. So, I think I found my electro daddy. <laughs> oh! Oh my! Oh my I mean, girl. I love, I love Sino and all, but god damn it. And then there's Sethos, and then there's Razor, and I'm like, nah, Razor's my adoptive son. Uh-huh. Sethos is okay. cute. I got it to work. <laughs> Yay. But still, so I'm happy. This is, character... <laughs> this is character that Miku is currently fighting over. First tall male electro! First tall male electro! Yes! <laughs> She's very excited about this, if you could not tell. Because if you, if you, okay, so, here, listen to me, listen to me carefully. People do you, do you want me to switch to the other picture of the back first, before we all listen to you carefully? Yes, please. Cool. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that beautiful purple electro vision! <laughs> so meowing kids! <laughs> This is actually gonna hurt me saying yes. Yeah, oh, hundred percent, and I love it. I love it. <laughs> right? It's the best. The stupid things are the best. It is. It's very truly, truly the best. Okay. So yeah. Um. Cause okay. So the thing is, is that we have not had a tall oh. electric male. Because it had been all women until, in. except for Razor, and then um, we didn't get another Electro character that is male since Sino, and then a little bit later Sethos. So he would be the first tall male character for Electro. That is true. That is true. Because Pyro has tall Electros, mm-hmm. or Pyro has tall men. Um, Geo. We also have. Uh, Dendro. Mm-hmm. Um, we also have Cryo. And hold on, that's one, two, three, four, and then soon to be Electro, so that's five. Yeah, what else am I forgetting? Animo. Uh, well, Animo, still sh- still short men. Yep. I was gonna say Animo would be in that same same category of not yet. Not anymore! <laughs> Animo is now in the category of its own. Yep. Okay, so I've got Hydro. Oh, <coughs> Hydro! Hydro was the other one I was listening. There's a couple of tall males there. Yeah. So, so, so yeah, so this gentleman being the first tall male Electro has got me a little bit excited because he'll be the first one! Very fair. Very fair. Ah! And also I realize his hoodie has like an eye and like it looks like a mouth, so it's kind of more cool. Oh, oh, definitely. God, this dude is so cool, and he's got like tattoos or markings on him, and it's so cool, and I can't wait to see him in action. <laughs> Almost everyone I... has markings and tattoos. Well, fu- yeah, because of the travel thingy, but it's yeah. just like, I don't know, his looks so cool. I want to like, at some point, I want to dive into each of the individual tribes, and like, where does this originate from? Where does this originate from? Because they're definitely oh, very, yeah. very different tribes. 
Mm -hmm. But of course, the thing is, is that we got to wait for the other tribes to come out. <laughs> true. But we got three we can look at now. Well, that's also very true. But I think we should like wait till all six are out and then we can really dive in. Ooh, we could do a Raikou about that. Yes. Yes, please. Sorry, I got a little bit too excited. Oh, that's <laughs> totally fine. Let's switch gears to actually talk more about like what's to come. So we do have the 5.1, and yes. I'm sure if people don't know, um, the only way after continuing 5.0, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have like questions about how the traveler is going to be going to get involved. Because let's face it, every time we go to a new nation, we're involved somehow. We don't try to be, but we always are. Yeah, here we are just searching for our last sibling that it's like, hey, uh, so there's this, 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 and this, and this, and now this. Can you help us out kind of getting dragged along because we're it, either- It's not even a question. Got caught in a storm, got caught trying to go someplace, and then we were incriminated. Oh, uh, kind of became incriminated in another nation. Uh-huh, um, uh-huh. Had to be a freaking lawyer in another- and then here we're trying to help them figure out their whole abyss stuff. <sighs> Which I... actually I'm surprised it's so I'm actually surprised it took us this long to get involved, like more heavily involved, not like, woo, we're gonna cheer for Kachina and her trial and doing the the, the, the actual good bean stuff. <laughs> well, I think part of that is because of the fact that Natlan has purposely like not like walled off but separated itself from the rest of the nation so there wasn't much known about the struggles of natlan before we got to natlan whereas the other nations we had an idea we got yeah, that yeah we, yeah we really really <coughs> like this play now that, or uh, visually impaired now that i think mm -hmm. i had to correct myself i'm like hold on i can't say that word i can't say that word <laughs> yes we did not have foresight into what we were getting into beyond nation of dragons uh and war yes and warrior tribes that was kind of it so seeing what's going on we now can understand why they keep up the warrior tribe mentality we can understand why they consistently fight where the other nations seem to be at even though it's been turmoil a semblance of peace mm -hmm. and also it did explain why we hadn't even seen any like natlin characters yes. throughout our journeys too correct which i thought that was kind of cool that they actually like mentioned it because i thought they were just gonna play that off and be like no but and it was actually a good like uh thing that they mentioned in there and i was like okay that makes sense yeah now now we only need to know if benny is originally from natlin or not <laughs> that's true that's true uh the one unsolved mystery we'll never know <laughs> we might know they could tie again but yeah that's true but we're also waiting for like the north of uh Mondstadt to come out so we can maybe go there eventually true it would be interesting to see what they come up with there especially uh what is that area with no wind? Uh, the I want to say the Menage, the, the Nanaj Menagerie or something like that. Marjavari? Yes! Cool. Uh, yes, I yes. wonder how Anima would go there. Like, that element. I'm sure it probably wouldn't have, like, I'm pretty sure, like, if you use, like, any animal character, like, their cooldown would be a lot longer. Or their, um, elemental skills would probably be cut down a lot shorter. That would be curious. But, that is us looking at future stuff that is not out yet. Sorry, we're speculating here. We're speculating we are. here. We're getting excited. Ah! <laughs> we haven't done this in so long, so we're doing more tangents than normal. <laughs> yes. But anyways, um, <clears throat> back to the ending of 5.0. There was mention yes. of about us getting our own sacred name. Yes, that uh, the Archon did mention that we could possibly get our own sacred name if we help out. Yes. So that actually is going to tie into the character that is going to help us with that. Oh. Shalonin. Okay. Oh, is that the... The new Geo Mommy that's coming out. Nice. So tell me a little so, bit about her. So, of course, you know she's a Geo, she's yep. a sword user, and yep. she's a yeah! DJ. I mean, meowing, goddammit! Uh, Meow! That's 24 minutes. <laughs> it will take us so it will take us time it will take us time meow <laughs> meow <coughs> okay i'm hurting my throat just doing this 
so yes, Shionlin, she I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna butcher her name a lot. I'm so sorry. Hoyo, please do not smite me. <laughs> she alone then. She alone She alone Until we find out difference like that. that. <laughs> it's weaves are weirder. Everything okay? Ophelia hit a button and reset it my stream. Oh no. Okay, but I did find it. I found it. I found cool. it. I found it. I found cool. it. Okay, so um <clears throat> She Lonin is a um geo character. Mm -hmm. Of course, she's from the char uh the, 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 the children of Echoes. Makes sense. So um she is a name engraver. Okay. So technically he can make us our name. Okay. So, uh, she also made the Archon sunglasses. Nice. I like her work. So, yeah, she she she's a forger. Okay. So, she makes meow. Meow. Uh, meow. She she makes meow. God damn it. I think you're the worst offender this time. My goodness. Get it. I'm excited. You know how I get when I'm excited. I know you do. I know you do. Eh. Eh. <laughs> 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 okay, Waluigi, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, she is uh, she is a name graver. Mm -hmm. She is especially skilled at finding a good balance between heavy responsibilities of her job and living well. Okay. Uh, she, she is the Artificent Flames Forge of the Soul. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she is a Geo character, much like our lovely Buns Kachina. Um, Buns. Except for um, Bun, she's a uh, more of a, a, a pretty kitty. <laughs> <laughs> no, like no, like seriously, like seriously, you go find her, and I'm like, hi. Yes, you're pretty. Isn't she like her cat. animal? Isn't she based off of like a cheetah? I, I think so, or maybe like a like a spotted uh, leopard? leopard. Okay. Yeah. Either which way, she's gorgeous. She's pretty, and oh my god, them shorts. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. Woo! Um, Lord have mercy. For those who have not yet gotten a good picture of the shorts, as it was, you know, on the banner, you can see her behind the Miku head. Just stretching. Hi. Hello, lovely lady. I look <laughs> respectfully. <laughs> is there a way to look respectfully like that? Uh, no, but I'm lying to myself, so let me have this. Oh my goodness. But, oh, Just don't okay. start drooling, and I think you're on the right path. <clears throat> um, uh, <clears throat> um, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, looking at her design, you can tell she's very more, like, laid back and kind of mm -hmm. chill. Mm-hmm. But she is a Geo. She is a sword user, so much like Albedo. Okay. And when she does her mold of transportation, she rollerblades. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. So, like, where Katrina has her drill, she has her blades. Yeah, her rollerblades. And she oh, can go up and, down, up and down the wall very easily. Like, you can even pause, and she'll be, like, leaning against the wall. Oh, She's hell yes. Hard. With like, that I, and knowing cats the way I do, I would say Leopard Girl for Chica. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, yeah, it just looks so flawless. And, like, dude, we could really, like, see all of Natlin when she's, like, just, like, chilling against the wall with, like, her leg up look, with that cool kid pose of, like, kind of like her hands in her pocket just leaning against the wall. Like, so. Yeah, just needs, you know, bubblegum to pop. Um. There's bubblegum, isn't there? There is bubblegum! She actually does <laughs> Excuse you? You're officially a cool kid. I love this. I love this. Yeah, I think there. I think if I watched her uh, character teaser, I think it did show her like popping bubble gum, or it was like uh, I think when they talk about like her skills and stuff, the okay. miscellany. And I'm just like, oh no, there's bubble gum. Oh my gosh, she reminds me of one of my OCs that I love. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she is a cool lady. Like, oh my god, she's so cool, guys. Like, it's not even funny. Now, do you want to tell me a little bit about her as uh, fighting character? Or do hold you... On, hold on, hold on, I think I saw her, like, when she's in her knight spirit thingy. <gasps> her knight soul? 
Uh-huh. Mako, do you she need has... a napkin? <laughs> That's a yes. She has, she has two little lines on her face. You don't like how... Uh, okay, this is going to be referencing an anime and it's probably going to date me a little bit. Naruto? Yep. So you know how he has, like, the three whiskers? Yep. She has two that are, like, triangles. Like, you know, marks on a cat. That's adorable. Ah! Oh, and her eyes are so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Miku, focus. I'm trying. I'm trying, but she's so cool. Oh, and she also does turn into a little bit of a cat when she, I think she jumps. Okay. But either which way, she's got them kicks. And oh my god. She's so cool. <laughs> but anyways, she has a thing called a sampler because, you know, DJ, gotta turn it up. Gotta, yeah. gotta sample the music. Because, god damn it, she's awesome. Ah, okay, anyways. <laughs> so, her thing is, you know how, um, we're going to reference another character that probably not a lot of people know, but kind of some do, that was also in the 5.0 banners, Molani? Yes. You know how she has, like, those three little things that are connected aside from the night soul bar on the side? When you're on her sharky? Yes. So, she has something akin to that, mm -hmm. but it's called a sampler. Okay. So she Lola passes three geo samplers for every pyro, hydro, cryo, or electro character in the party. A geo sampler will be converted into the corresponding elemental type. Okay. When the sampler is active, it will decrease the corresponding elemental resistance of nearby opponents. Oh. Mm -hmm. So when Shilon is under the Night Soul's blessing state, the geo sampler she carries will also will always be active by default. Should she at least have two samplers that have undergo elemental conversion, Chiolin will gain Night Soul points upon hitting an opponent with her normal attack. When Night Soul points reach maximum, Chiolin will consume all of her Night Soul points to activate all the samplers she has on hand. Oh, so she can actually, like, access a little bit of the elemental energy from everyone else, if I'm understanding mm -hmm. that correct. Yep, I think, um... Our friend Inva put it best as a Geo Kazuwa. Yeah. Which I 100% agree with because she can also work really well with a solid Geo team as well. So basically, she'll be your um, Geo DPS. Yeah. That's very curious. I now really, really want her. Yes, right? And I'm thinking like she's going to be like really well with Kazuwa. Yeah. Too. You know who like, I don't, just... I don't meowing have. Yep. Supper. <laughs> Have that voice Listen here, one. Meow. <laughs> I love how you can tell exactly what Meow I mean at that time. <laughs> yeah. So it's also kind of cool because those triangles will light up to the corresponding element. Okay. Good to know. Like, um, in the demo that I see, like, they have her, Molani, Zhongling, or our chef. Our chef Zhongling. Yes. And, uh, Kuki Shinobu. Okay. Okay. So it does light up, which I thought was kind of cool. Good to know. I'm excited yeah. to try her out. Yeah, she's got some kicks to her, and I'm like, and there's another member of the kicks team, which is all Geo. <laughs> you do like your your uh, your uh peeps who kick their stuff. Yeah, which apparently has been a lot of Geo. Yeah. Because I can't really think of an element outside of Geo that really does some kicks other than, like, El Haytham, but he, like, has it, like, you know, uh, 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 Yelan is Hydro. Oh, yeah, because she does kick her butt. That's right, that's right, that's yeah. right. I need to build her. I need to build up so many characters, dude. That's... I just want to get them to level 90, and that's and call it and <coughs> go from Camelons from there. Yeah, I put that goal of mine on hold while I get more fine-tuning on my main team. But we're tan yeah. again. Yeah. So, Yelan will be on the first banner, correct? Yes, she will be on the first banner with anybody that might have missed this, this character beforehand. Also, Shiori. Oh, nice. So both of the ones on the first banner are going to be the uh, the Geo the swords. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and of course, like, having Shiori is very nice. Just because, like, the whole, like, tra like you could start her off and then it's just, like, once you do her E skill, you could trans move on to the next character. Yeah, definitely. And then, uh, right, let's get to the banners because we did talk about that. Um, 
So with the banners, we have our lovely new Geo Mummy, and then uh, we got the lovely Taylor Chiori. Yes. And then um, I, I think you're going to have a little bit of an issue this uh, this uh, banner run through, my dear. Yeah, I, I saw who banner two is. So yeah, those two are on the first phase, and our second phase is our lovely little Dendro Shorty Nahida. We speak for the and trees! <laughs> Yep, and of course our lovely funeral director Hu Tao. Yes, I've I have already kind of decided in my quest to get everyone. I might wait on C two Nahida so that I can get Hu Tao. Yeah, I, I feel that I feel that in my soul. Cause and, like um, Hu Tao is one who has meowing evaded me, and I mean same. Uh, same. So I'm. I am hopeful, but I'm also very much of the mindset of, yeah. Yeah, I'm just thankful that this time <laughs> around, like, no, wait, this is the same thing as 5.0. So uh, I don't think I've ever told, I don't think I, uh, these lovely people know, but um, 5.0 has been a nightmare for the Miku. Oh. Because of the banners? Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Okay. So, um, I'm sure people remember the banners for 5.0, but I'm going to reiterate. So, we had the new character, Mulani. Yep. And and we had my, my, bo my boy, my precious, my lovely animal boy, Kazuha. Yep. Of course, I didn't know who the voice actress was for, for Mulani until I found out and looked, and I'm like, crap, I need them. Yep. Oh, uh, that was... That was not a good day for my wallet. And then, of course, since we're still currently technically on this banner, the second half of 5.0 is Kanich. Mm hmm And my f meowing, meow, 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 What Miku means is Shogun. <laughs> my archon, my queen, my goddess. So... I've also had a rough go of it, these banners. Uh, Mulani, I got by complete and utter chance. I did, oh. like, 60, 70 polls and nothing. Mm -hmm. I ended up losing a 50-50 uh, to yep. Tanari. And then, yep. as I got, that was like a poll 20, and then I did 60, 70 on top of that. At the point that uh, Mulani was near gone, I had hours left. I'm like, you know what? Meow it. I have a single pole. And Yeet. Got her on the single pole. And I got her on the meowing single pole. I'm having so, um, a similar thing with Kanich now. I think I'm like 40, 50 poles in and nothing. Not even the gold. So I'm just like, mm. Yeah, Kanich, Kanich I actually got <coughs> on that radiant wish thing. Yes. I would have loved to have seen that. But uh, I am was, I am hoping was, that I can do okay. one more 10 pole. By by Tuesday, I should be able to focus in and get some of that uh, because I really like his playstyle. He's yes, he is meowing Sora. Yes, tell me he's and, not. Of course, I, I, let me tell you a little thing. Um, so you know how he has two voice actors, one for Awa and mm -hmm. um for Kanich himself. Yeah. The Japanese voice actors is Sasuke for Kanich and freaking Naruto. <laughs> For the yeah, Dragon Lord. This this fits. This one hundred percent fits. I know that's the whole reason why I pulled for him. Other than the game style, I'm like son of a. Yeah. I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you might want to write that down, right? I, I said yep. two curses. Yep. <laughs> uh, but yeah, apparently we're going voice actor heavy this this season of Genshin. It kind of uh, seems like it, which I'm excited for. Yes. Um. So, yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, we have the new weapons as well. Yes. And apparently, we're also getting a four-star. Or we're getting three new four-stars. Uh, there is called the Sturdy Bone, which is a sword. The mount, the Mountain Bracing Bolt, which is a pole arm, And then the Fruitful Hook, which is a claymore. Um, uh, look at this. There we go. Oh, you got a bolt up? Yeah. I was about to send you a picture too of me Yeah, I. They look kind of cool. They do. They very much do. The 
The mountain bracing bolt. I feel like we've seen that in game already. I don't know where. Uh, I don't know. I, I think it might have been Kachina. No. I'm not too sure. Hmm. It's gonna bother me now. Yeah. Or there might be something close and similar to it. Maybe the uh the Natlan spear that uh a bunch of people got for jumping on the uh the hype train oh, on the, um uh I, I know what the recipe is called, I just can't remember it off the top of my head. Um I know which one you're talking about, but I know the design's a little bit different. Yeah, the design is different. I'm looking more at the blade itself as the reminiscent piece. Gotcha. I'm actually gonna go find out what the freak its name is. Because it's going to bother me now if right. I don't say it. Right. <laughs> I, I mean, I have my Yenshin loaded up because um, I still need to do the photo event that's going on. Meow, I forgot the last three. Okay, thank you for the reminder. Oh, well, you're welcome because I'm like, I don't remember what it ends. And apparently it's going to end in two days. So it ends about the time that we're going to be getting the new thing. Um. So, yeah, I mean, there's so many cool little things going on, and I am actually really super excited for 5.1 because of one of the events. Oh, I haven't looked at all into the events. I'm sure you're absolutely shocked. Which event? Oh, I'm sure you're going to love this event. Oh? It has to deal with our favorite character that's coming back on the banner. Oh, you did tell me about this! We speak for the trees! Yes, we actually get to celebrate her birthday! Woo! The Sabjara Festival! Mm-hmm! It's so cute! And, like, the picture of her, oh my god. Oh my god, right? Like, no, you don't understand. Like, oh my god! Like, look at that! Look at that, like, little happy bean! One moment. I'm, I'm gonna get the thing. I'm gonna get the thing! Ah! Look at her! Oh my goodness. She's so cute! Sweet baby girl Nahida! Can I... Sweet baby! I, I'm like that meme of like, I only know Nahida for like five minutes. If anything happens to her, you will all pay. We ride at dawn! <laughs> exactly. Yes, a very, very sweet happy being. I absolutely love the picture. So yeah, we get to we get, we get to celebrate her birthday. I love that. And, and and the pole arm you're thinking of is the footprint footprint of the rainbow. Yes. And it's definitely a different blade for sure. Okay. But regardless, um, we get to partake in this event, and we get to invite Candace. Heck yeah! I think I have a C six already, so that's more points for summoning. Yes. So, of course, this is heavily dealing back to Sumeru to celebrate mm -hmm. our lovely little Dendro shorty! Yes! Oh god, now that I think about it, like, we actually have a shorty of, all, of each element, at least. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Because, because Kachina was the last one we were missing, which was J.O. Yeah. We have a shorty for every nation. Oh, shoot, you're right. And we have some that are doubled up on, um, on, uh, uh, things. So, elements. Yeah, a lot. Yes! Yes, I think cryo. No, not cryo. I don't remember now. I'm gonna have to look at that later. Anyways, I'm tangenting. <laughs> we are. We are. But yeah, we actually get to like deal with like the the carriage that they mentioned in like her character story Aww. during her birthday. We actually get to do the flower carriage. We love that. That's adorable. Yeah, it looks like it's just gonna be like the um, you remember the toy boxer for Benny? Yes. So we get to do kind of something like that, but with a carriage, and it okay. looks like we get to do some fun little um games of like spot the difference. Oh, I love games like that. Yeah, except it's going to be live and we're going to be in the thing. And then, of course, there's something called the Shadow of the Knight's Blade, which is going to be one of those fighting domains. Okay, okay. There's also um, another event called the Feast of Pursuit. Just as the flames never die before they truly burned out, so too should the pace of the pursuit never falter, even for a moment. Um, surmount all obstacles and advance even onward towards the title of Kvet's Strongest. 
Okay. So that's another fighting domain. And I want to say, I know there's one that's supposed to be co-op. <sighs> Meow, yes? Yes. I, I stopped myself. Yeah, you did. You did good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, by the way, going back to your question before, Dendro and Cryo have double shorties. Nahida and Buns, yow yow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> Chi Chi and Diona. Yes, Chi Chi and Diona. I thought it was Cryo because I was like, I'm pretty sure Cryo has two because of Chi Chi. And then, of course, I'm like, the little cat bartender. So cute. Um, I could be one. off, but I'm looking at the character list right now, and those are the only ones that jumped up to me. No, that sounds about right, because Klee is still the only fire one, and then we just got a Geo, and then Sayu is the only one for Animo, and then she's for Hydro, reading we have for, Yeah. Uh, and Dory for Electro. Yes, that was the other one I was forgetting. Um, yeah, there's so many cool things, man. Oh, I forgot to tell you one additional thing about Sumeru. Oh... So, we're getting a new boss. I'm pretty sure you know the overworld bosses. Oh! Do you remember those? Yeah. Ooh. Uh huh. <coughs> another um, mechanical boss called what's... the Secrets. What? What's this one's nickname gonna be? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because its name right now is Secret Source Constructor. Mm hmm. And a constructor machine powered by the shining gold patterns. None know how, who created it. Today, those uh, today with those ancient civilizations long lost, only those nameless secret source creations now aimlessly wander the land. So it's like those bosses that you see are those uh, the hunter little... seekers. Yes, the hunter seekers. Basically, this is them, except uh, stronger. More, um, I want to say also bigger. Cool. Um, yeah, it's bigger. My initial thought for names, just looking at it, uh, is I Spy, because the big golden thing in the center makes me think of an, uh, an ever-watching eye. Oh, like, uh, Lord of the Rings? Yeah. A little bit. Ooh. Yeah. I can see that. I was also thinking of, like, uh, Portal, because it looks like one of those, uh, the, the, the legs where I mean, make me think of, like, the, ter the turret guns. Yes! Are you still there? Deploying. Yeah. Oh, I also <laughs> forgot to mention, Shilong's weapon looks so cool. Ooh! And, okay, back back to Sh uh, Shilonin. When she ults, she takes off her cloak, and then the little tail trails turn into, like, the sound bars that you would see. Oh my goodness, I love that. So, like, you know when the music gets higher, they get higher up, and mm -hmm. they go up and down, depending on, like, the bass and whatnot? Yeah. She has those when she's an alt, and it's such a cute little detail. I love that. That sounds amazing. And then her sword? Oh, my God, dude. It, like... Like, I'm gonna send you a picture of the sword. Okay. Her little... The little bars on the sword move up and down. The little triangle in the middle spins around like a like a, like a record player. Oh, that's legit. Yes, yes. I'm like, oh my this. god, I need her. I need her weapon. It's so cool. Like, dude, you have to watch, like, the video. It makes, like, like, it just, it doesn't do it justice just seeing that. But yeah, it turned, like, the, like, her hilt, that little base is actually a freaking record player. And, and it is turning. I love that. That is it's absolutely so cool. amazing. I love her. I love her so much. It's so cool. I love that uh, so much. I know. It's the little details like that that just makes me so happy. It's like, I need her and I need her weapon. Mm -hmm. I am so thankful. I'm not going for um, Chiori because I got her. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's so many fun things. Uh, oh, I love that. But Oh god, it's just the little details like that that make me so happy. But See, it's also, those little details that really unlock it. I will agree. Yes, yes. So, um, also, um, Liban's gonna be back, so we'll be able to trade stuff with him and oh, get some more nice. stats. Oh, nice! I love yes. that. Yes, and um, TCG, we're gonna have Chiori, the lovely Dendro, um, lady that we fight as an Ermite, and then um, it looks like we got the fun dude that we fight, the Electro. 
uh, the one that we used to fight for Kave for Baiju as well. The one in the desert in Sumeru. Oh, uh, Abyss Meow. Yes. So, Wait. for those who don't know, we nickname every single of the Ascension bosses. Um, yeah. that one has a curse in its name, because, no, um, who's my Yeah. Name? Um. Yeah, he, he, he. He a punk. <laughs> he, he is a punk. 100%. Do all the creatures have to there? Uh, I think they go with a very male voice. We'll use the general he in this sense. The overarching yeah. he. Yeah, because I don't think I've ever seen a, a, a um, female abyss herald because if i if you remember listening to them they all kind of very like had like a little bit of a, a husky like they <laughs> they do all have more male presenting voices i will agree with that but yeah okay but yeah, I... 10 minute mic marker okay so um they also did do some uh life things because Ooh, we love that we do love that so so basically, you could skip uh, nine floor and obtain the rewards. So basically, you, I think you, I think if it is done correctly, as I read this, you could be able to skip from floors one through nine if you can, if you have cleared nine. Okay, I love that. So, I, so I think like you could skip the next floor if you're able to clear it. Yeah, Which I saw is... something that if you were able to clear all four, you can skip the first two. Uh, but you have to clear with all stars, correct? I think so, but I I'm not too sure. Yes, I think um, I think I read up on this. So, for the final four abyss, uh, well, words, not in heck, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. If you clear all spiral abyss, that one, uh, spiral abyss. If you clear all four of those with full stars, uh, the next time you go through, you don't have to do nine and ten. If you clear up to 11 with full stars, you don't have to do 9. You can skip that one. So it yeah. gives a little bit more of a boon if you do have the type of team that just, like, blows through that. Yeah, so I think I'd be able to skip at least 9. No, wait. No, because I need to finish that last floor because I'm always missing that last star because I'm always slow yeah. somehow. Yeah. Ah, I'm, I'm, damn in, it. I'm in similar vein. I can get the first two full stars, no problem. Mm -hmm. It's 11 that I start to slow down. That's why I'm fine-tuning my, my current team, and I'm gonna work on my secondary team, so I can be like, all the Remos! Yeah, I pretty much split my um, main team from... I have, like, two characters from my main team on the first round, and then mm -hmm. two, two characters from my main team on the second round. And it helps, but I'm like, I really should think about a second party. Exactly. That's why I have I have my, my Nahigashi team and my Klee team. Because mm -hmm. my Nahida team, I have Barbara, uh, Nahida, and Open, and Shogun. My, uh, my Klee team, I have Jean, Klee, Rosaria, and Open. So what I have been doing is I've been putting Farina with my, uh, uh, my Klee team and Tainari with my, my Nahida team. Yes. So, it's been working, I just need to build everyone up a little bit more. It also probably might help if I read the rules of the of the thing. Oh! <laughs> that, that would because, also help. Because sometimes I don't do that and I'm like, I got this! And then I'm like, oh, there could have been more things to help me buff along the way. Yeah, it's I typically... Mean, 54. We were doing so Bye. well for a bit. Yeah. Well, I also went on a very long tangent of a lot of meows. Yeah, but that also, you did. That you did. Yeah. So with also this, speaking of the uh, uh, the um, spiral abyss. Yes. Um, you can now also also open multiple domain um, reliquaries or reliquaries okay. at once. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, which is going to be very nice. And also, if you're doing like your artifact set filters, they're actually going to have it to where you can save it, save it, and not have to reconfigure it all the time. That is amazing. That is so amazing. So nice. Yes. Yes. 
and a feature will also be added to the crafting um bench Ooh. to where you can full filter recipes by character ascension goals. Yes. Like, goddamn, did we ever need that when starting this? Yeah, we've needed that for a while. That would save so yes. much time. Yes, which is really nice, and it like shows like. Like, it shows, like, the books that you need for their talents mm -hmm. as well. And it also, like, like oh, my God. Like, it shows, like, your what you currently have and then what you need. Totally. Yeah. Oh, I like, love that. I will, send you, I will send you a screenshot of what it looks like, kind of-ish. I I kind of missed the first part of it where they were picking a character, but I will go back and get that. Yeah. No worries when you have time. But that's awesome! I love the quality of life changes. Yes, especially for the artifacts and the, um, helping build your characters, mm -hmm. which is so nice. It really, really is. And, like, it even breaks down, like, the lovely, like, section of what, um... That, I didn't do that right. I, that, damn it! <laughs> no! 56. Uh... <laughs> it happens again this is day one i expected there to be more but i'm actually like notating about the time so i don't have to go through and like scrub it <coughs> yeah. okay there's a better screenshot of that one cool and then let me re-get the thing where they're picking jean because that one has my bar and stuff and i'm pretty sure you would like an actual pretty picture even though mine's kind of a little fuzzy this is super helpful that's why I'm like, I will help with the visual aid if I can. Wait, is this like bringing up what's needed for the weapon as well as the ascension as well as the talents? Uh, so far it looks like it is the character itself. But then the, because... the tiles are in that image. That would be weapon. Ooh, wait, let me see. Let me, see. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Oh, shoot. Right? Maybe it's whatever weapon you have currently uh, equipped with them. That's handy. Okay, hold, on, hold on, go back to that drop bar. Go back to that drop bar. So calculated unselected. So you can it goes unselected character ascension, equipped weapon ascension, normal attack, skill attack, and ele or normal attack, elemental burst, and elemental skill as well. Oh, I, I love will, that. I will get you a screenshot. Yes, please. Thank you. Welcome. And, and this there's is that why drop down we box. work together. Yes. Um, ah, here we are. Oh, but that's so nice. That like, is dude, so I nice. Used, I could have saved so many papers. Yeah. It counts the crowns in there too. Nice. Oh, that's amazing. Damn, they got thirty-eight. <laughs> Well, I have like 50. I have not been doing that. I'm more looking at the amount of Mora they have. That's also true. Like, and my goodness. I, mm -hmm. I love that. I want that. I will never have that. Yeah, never. Unless, like, I saved and don't ascend any of my characters whatsoever. And also, they did release a for your anniversary video which i highly recommend that you watch right just because i went through emotional feelings again oh boy okay definitely like, like they, uh dm it to me or dm me the link and i'll look at it because they added a lot of cutscenes oh from the years that's adorable and i'm like oh my heart and there's a beautiful song that goes with it called passing memories okay and it's got, like, some of the animation of, like, a fight scene of, like, the different battles in um, Natland, as well as, like, all the cutscenes we have gone through in the four years of this game. Oh, I love that so much. It definitely... doesn't hurt my heart at some cutscenes. <laughs> definitely DM me the, uh, the link. I'll take a look at that at uh, some I, point. I already did. You are amazing. I already did. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, Miku, uh, I think that's about all the time that we have for today. We're going to agree. Uh, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is the new Geo Mommy will be mine. 
<laughs> yes, yes, Miku needs her new mommy. Ah, she's so cool. <laughs> okay. Ah, yeah. <laughs> well, my friends, this has been Raikou Radio. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Can't wait to see you next time for the tangents. Bye. Bye. Hehehehe. <laughs>